In checking on Money Matters this morning, student loan rates will go up 18% this year, and Florida is the number two best state for business. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. Happy Friday. So Florida Good continues Friday. to be a great state to start, run, or expand a business. It's always great news for the Sunshine State. Uh I'm sure it is. Uh, good morning to you, Ethan and Jen. Nice to talk to you this morning, Ethan. Well, Chief Executive Magazine says only Texas ranked higher than Florida on this list. Now, Texas was number one for the 13th straight year. Florida's been second now for five straight years. Uh, the survey was really comprehensive. They asked about taxes, workforce, livability of the state, government, and other things come up with this list. And Jane, speaking of Florida, Orlando remains the undisputed king of tourism here in Florida, right? <laughs> the city welcomed more than 68 million visitors in 2016. I was one of those. Actually, my whole family, there were four of us. Uh, Central Florida, which has held the title as the nation's number one tourist destination for years, boosted its claim with an additional 2 million visitors in 2016 versus 2015. And that is expected to increase this year. There's all these new attractions like uh, Walt Disney World's Pandora Land, uh, also uh, uh, Volcano Bay, SeaWorld is having a Kraken uh, attraction as well, so they expect to be even busier this year. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to be there at least two times over the next <laughs> three or four months, actually, Jane, you know, for the yeah. kids. So what is this about college students borrowing money next year? In, the, the interest rates or the, the um, what they owe when they borrow money is going up significantly, it That's sounds right. like. It's going to go up by quite a bit. The stall starts in July, so any loans taken out after that point will have these higher interest rates. They will rise on new federal loans. So undergraduates will pay 4.45%. That's an increase from this year's rate of 3.76%. All right, Jane, a lot of people like this. Candy makers banding together to reduce calories. <laughs> What? And Reuters, yes, Reuters reports that five major companies, this includes Mars, Nestle, Wrigley, they will reduce calories and many sweets that are sold in the U.S. So they committed to ensuring that half the individually wrapped products sold in the country have no more than 200 calories within the next five years. So it's like Snickers bars, M&Ms, those are owned by Mars. So some of the really popular candies. What, out are they there. gonna be like an inch long? <laughs> uh, what they say they're gonna do is lower the amount of sugar uh, uh. in the treats. So we'll see, we'll weigh them, we'll do the weigh test, see if <laughs> <Right>. they <laughs> still match. Thank you, Jane, have a good weekend, my Thanks. dear. Okay.